Happy Friday, fifth graders. I hope that you've had a great Earth week. Let's review our idioms. So we learned go to the ends go to the ends of the earth to achieve everything possible to achieve something. To have a green thumb means to have an unusual ability to make plants grow, to be good at gardening. If something becomes second nature or is second nature, it means that it is something that you have done so often that you do it with almost without thinking. And to go green means to do things in a way that protects the natural environment, to lead a more environmentally friendly and, a, and ecologically responsible lifestyle. Today's idiom is earth to hmm. So where this line is, this blank line is where you would insert someone's name. So here's the literal meaning calling earth or earth to hmm. But <clears throat> it actually means that it is a way to attract someone's attention when they are distracted. So if someone's distracted, you might say, like to your sibling, Earth to Lisa, Earth to Byron. So kind of like saying they're far away or they're on another planet because you would be on Earth and they would be on another planet. So it's kind of insinuating that they're far away, they're distracted, they're in some other place, they're in outer space. So if you're on Earth, they're on another planet, you would want to try to get their attention. It's kind of meant to be funny as well. Uh, the sentence is, the teacher tried to get my attention in Zoom, but my Wi-Fi was glitchy. She said, Earth to Jill, Earth to Jill. Okay, now we've worked on the suffix Meant, which means action. We learned achievement, arrangement, agreement, and environment. And we're going to review these words for the quiz. So check these words out and remember that achievement means something important that you succeed in doing by your own efforts. An arrangement are plans and pre preparations that you must make so that something can happen. And it's also an agreement. And an agreement is an arrangement or promise to do something. It's also when people have the same opinion as each other. That means you agree, you're in agreement. And the environment has two meanings. It's the people and things that are around you in your life. So it's kind of your general situation. And also it means the natural environment means the natural features of a place. For example, it's weather, the type of land it has, and the type of plants that grow in it. Today we have the word movement. The action of moving, move. What does this mean? Here are some examples first. The fifth graders led a movement to stop the use of plastic bags. So this is when a group of people who share the same ideas or beliefs work together to achieve a particular aim. So we talked a lot about the civil rights movement when we learned about Dr. King and when we read the Watsons Go to Birmingham. <clears throat> um, that was a, the civil rights movement movement right there are movements to go more green and let's say not have plastic straws in stores there's a there's a newer movement i've heard, just read about where you might not get plastic forks and spoons utensils like when you get takeout food there's a new movement now to say okay um people don't won't get plastic utensils when they get takeout food unless they ask for it so unless you ask for it, then you'll get it. So that's the latest uh, Go Green movement. So a movement is when people share the same ideas and they're trying to make something happen. They're trying to achieve something. Now, the other definition for movement is when someone or something changes position or moves from one place to another. So yoga allows us for great, allows us for great movement of our body and a chance to stay calm uh, allows for, just delete that word. So again, yoga allows for great movement of our body and a chance to stay calm. We have worked on Greek root geo, which means earth. So we learned geologist, a person who studies the earth. And this is a review again, because we have it here, but a, the ge but geology is the study of rocks, 
soil, etc., that make up the earth and of the way they have changed since the earth was formed. So, a geology studies geology. A geologist studies geology. So it's kind of review. We learned geologist on Monday. Geode is a small cavity or opening in a rock lined with crystals. And geometry is a study of mathematics, of the angles and shapes formed by the relationships of lines, surfaces, and solid objects. And yesterday we learned geographer, a someone who studies geography. And geography, geography is a study of countries, oceans, rivers, etc., of our world. So here is an example of what geology is. Someone, these are rock formations. The geology of an area can tell us how old the rock formations are and can tell us about life at that time. So this week we worked on Greek root geo. We worked on suffix ment. So if you see suffix ment after a word, then it can tell you that that means action. And we learned a lot of great idioms having to do with earth.